Hello, I just wanted to ask um, about varicose veins and spider veins and if varicose veins are actually the cause of spider veins. I have sort of varicose veins myself but it's actually the spider veins and the purple vein, the broken veins that are the worst and I just wondered if you got the varicose veins treated does will that get rid of the spider veins or do they have to be treated completely separately? Thank you. Thank you for that question and what often asked about the link between spider veins or thread veins of the legs and underlying varicose veins. There's a lot that could be said but to make it simple about 90% of people with thread veins have underlying either varicose veins or feeding veins that are causing them. So one in ten people just have thread veins or spider veins on the surface of their legs and can safely have treatment. The other nine out of ten people need to have underlying veins treated first. That might be varicose veins, hidden varicose veins or feeding veins. Therefore the rules are really very simple. If you have spider veins or thread veins of your legs, you must have a venous duplex ultrasound scan, preferably at a centre where they use high resolution venous duplex ultrasonography using a vascular technologist who's expert looking for the underlying cause. Then the underlying varicose veins, hidden varicose veins or feeding veins treated first. Sometimes that will get rid of the thread veins as well. Sometimes the thread veins still remain, but then you can have them treated knowing that they're less likely to come back and much less likely of having any complications because the underlying cause has been treated first. So in answer to your questions, number one, if you have varicose veins and thread veins, as you said you have, then it is very likely the two are linked. Secondly, it would be wrong to have the thread veins treated without treating the underlying varicose veins first because you can get further problems or the veins coming back again. So always treat the underlying varicose veins first, which means always, always get a venous duplex ultrasound scan performed by a specialist before ever thinking of having any thread veins treated. Get the underlying veins treated first, the underlying varicose veins, and then once you've had those underlying varicose veins treated, if the thread veins are still there, then you can have those treated, secure in the knowledge of getting the best results.